Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you what I eat in a day on my lazy off days. So uh, I just worked a lot of days in a row with housekeeping. It was a super busy weekend so I'm feeling very tired. Um, I just rolled out of bed, it's like 11.30. Normally I'm up at like 8 but today I was just laying, watching some YouTube videos and FaceTiming my sister and stuff like that. I just got up and I'm gonna make myself a really delicious breakfast. I just got this um, blue spirulina powder. I'm gonna make a super pretty smoothie bowl with this. So I'll show you how I make it. I love smoothie balls so much. So good. All right, so I'm just about to make up my lunch and I'm going to make myself a toasted sandwich. Uh, I made it for dinner last night and it was amazing. So I wanted to put it in this video so that you guys can make it too. <laughs> Okay, so to my sliced sourdough, I'm going to add some vegan mayo on one side. And then a slice of vegan cheese. And then I'm using some of this vegan ham. Smoked tofu would be very good in this as well. Or any vegan deli meat, even tempeh bacon would be really good as well. And on top of that, I will add some sauerkraut and some jalapenos. A little bit of black pepper, pop the other slice of bread on top, and then instead of um, buttering both sides, I like to spray a little bit of oil on, and then that goes into a hot pan to toast on both sides. While the sandwich is cooking, I'm just snacking on some almond butter and sourdough, and oh my gosh, I've never had almond butter before. Why? Well, it's more expensive, this one was five dollars though so that's not that bad but holy it's amazing why don't i eat this i mean now i will every freaking day when i stopped eating sugar well i mean i eat it occasionally i'm not gonna say i never eat sugar when i significantly reduced my sugar i just eat chocolate every single day i was like i need chocolate to survive but i haven't eaten chocolate in forever but now like normal foods just taste better I don't know why food tastes better now that I don't eat sugar every single day. Mm. Anyways, try out some almond butter. Look how delicious that sandwich looks. So this is the delicious ham and cheese Reuben toasty sandwich kind of thing. I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna call it a vegan ruby. This is a ruby sandwich because I don't know what goes in a Reuben sandwich. We'll give it a little taste. Mm. That's literally one of the best sandwiches I've ever made in my life. The sauerkraut adds like a nice tang and saltiness. The jalapenos are like a little hint of spice and the cheese and the ham and the sourdough and the crunch. It's like, this is the perfect sandwich. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. There's a man out there and he keeps looking at me through the gate. Hello, sir. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna make myself a protein shake and then I'm gonna go probably have some pre-workout and then go to the gym. Hello? Okay. Holy. That's all. Thank you. Bye. I'm just snacking on some 
rice crackers and vegan cheese. So for dinner, I'm just gonna make my lentil doll. It's super easy to whip up, so watch how I make it. going to let this come to a boil and then let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes until the lentils have become very soft and dissolved. The lentil doll is finished cooking now. Normally I would serve it with some rice but I didn't feel like making any rice so I'm just going to have the doll with some coconut yogurt and some avocado. Look at how cute this avocado is. It's so small. 